the sun dipped low over the bustling art festival, casting long shadows that danced across the vibrant stalls. Detective Jasper Slate stood at the edge of the crowd, his keen eyes meticulously scanning the throng of artists and patrons. The air was thick with the scent of paint, mingling with the distant sound of laughter, a stark contrast to the tension that gripped him. Mira Canvas, her colorful hair catching the fading light, approached with determination etched on her face. I think I know who did it, she said, her voice barely rising above the din slate raised an eyebrow, intrigued by her assertion. Go on, he prompted, his curiosity piqued. Mira gestured toward Leo Graf, a tall, tattooed rival artist animatedly discussing his latest piece with a group of admirers. He had a motive, jealousy. The victim was about to unveil a piece that would overshadow his work. Slate nodded, recalling the earlier interviews. But we need more than suspicion. Let's talk to him, he decided, setting the stage for a crucial confrontation. As they approached Leo Graf, the tall and tattooed artist, his expression shifted from jovial to guarded. Detective Mira, what brings you here? His voice was smooth, yet Slate noted the slight twitch in his jaw, a telltale sign of unease. We have some questions about the night of the murder, Slate began, his tone professional and unwavering. Where were you when it happened? Leo's eyes flickered, calculating his response. I was at the speakeasy gallery showcasing my work. You can ask anyone there, he replied, attempting to maintain his composure. Mira interjected, her voice cutting through the tension. But you left early, didn't you? Leo's demeanor hardened, his defenses rising. I don't have to answer to you, he retorted, his voice tinged with defiance. Slate stepped closer, lowering his voice to a near whisper. We have evidence that places you near the scene. A spray paint can was found with your fingerprints. The tension escalated, the festival's laughter fading into the background as Leo's facade began to crack. As the sun set, the festival's vibrancy dimmed, leaving only the stark reality of the investigation. The once lively atmosphere now felt heavy with the weight of suspicion and unspoken truths. Slate exchanged a glance with Mira, both aware that the final canvas of this case was yet to be painted. The evidence was mounting, and the pieces of the puzzle were slowly falling into place. Yet, the path to resolution remained shrouded in mystery. I didn't kill him. I wanted to be better, not a murderer. Leo's voice broke through the silence, a desperate plea for innocence. But in the world of art and ambition, motives were as layered as the paintings themselves. Join us next time on Storyteller as we delve deeper into the shadows of this artistic enigma, where every brushstroke could reveal a new clue. Stay tuned for the next chapter in this gripping tale of intrigue and deception.